Hey, welcome to the workshop. So today, my wife wants me to make this wooden bench to put at the end of our bed. It's really simple, it's made out of one board. I'm gonna show you how I did it really quick in this video, so let's go. So for this project, we're gonna use a piece of two by 12. If you buy a full length one, you'll have plenty of wood to do this project. So what I'm gonna do first is just cut this to four foot and try to clean it up a little bit, but this is gonna get distressed in the long run, so I'm not really too worried about it. So then for the two legs, we're going to cut them both 16 inches. You can use a handsaw. However, since I got power tools, I'm going to use the power tool. So now we want to measure in four inches from one end and then five and a half from the other end. We're going to repeat that on both sides. Okay, so the marks that we just made are going to be where these legs are going to set. They're going to go right on top of each one. And so to make this easier, I'm going to put wood glue on both of these and allow them to settle up a little bit. And I'm going to clamp it so they're nice and square. Make sure they are square when you put them on. The glue is just going to help us later in the process when we go to put the dowels and the screws. And we'll keep moving around and, and giving us issues. All right, now that all the glue is hardened up and dried, we can flip it over. Now we're going to add three and a half inch deck screws into this. And then we're going to cover the ends of them using dowels. In order to put the screws in here, I want to make sure I'm in the center of the board. And so to do that, I'm going to take a carpenter square. We're going to go pretty much right in the middle. Find your line, score a little line here, and then bring this up, matching it with that, and making your mark. Then you can go on the other side and continue that line if it's not long enough. So for the screw holes, we've got our line here. So we're going to come in two inches from the end and then four and a quarter. We're going to repeat that on both sides and that will end up with four holes that are roughly looking to be evenly spaced from each other. So before we drill the four holes with our eighth inch drill bit, we're going to want to do a countersink. And what I would use is a brad tip drill bit. This is half inch and we're going to be using half inch dowels that will fill that void. But because of the way these are designed, this gives you a good center point. So get your point there on the center and drill down. I'm not going to go all the way down, just about a quarter inch to half an inch. Now we're going to take our eighth inch drill bit, find that center point from the brad tip drill bit, and just drill completely all the way down. And then add the screws. Then we're going to... Put glue in the hole, glue around the bottom edge of the dowel, put it on the hole, oops, and take a mallet and jam it down in there. A little bit of it will be sticking out, we'll take care of that later. I'm just going to repeat the same on all of them. Alright, once the glue is dry, I'm just going to take a flush trim saw and cut the ends off down to the board as close as I can. Alright, so what i got to do now, um, which is not a step that you're going to have to do, I've got this old stain on here I don't want, so I'm going to take a hand sander and get it all off, but in the process I do want to get this as smooth as I possibly can, because if you think about it, an old piece of wood is going to be smooth. It's not going to be rough and, and beat up to a point where it's not easy to touch. So I'm going to make this smooth, I'm going to start with 60 grit, then I'm going to go to a different sander and go up to um, 100 grit and just try to make it as smooth as I can. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to start distressing this and make it look like a really old plank, but I'm going to cover that in a separate video uh, just because I want to go a little bit more in depth on the process I'm doing. So we're going to have a little bit of some montage of showing you what I'm actually doing. So I've got the stain, one coat of my polycrylic. I really, really like using that stuff. You probably know that by watching my channel. 
Um, so what I want to do now is sand in between coats. I'm going to probably put several more layers of that. But I'm taking 220 grit. I'm not going to do it just by hand. It could take a little block of wood. And what I like to do is just kind of wrap it and fold it up in on around itself. And then you could staple it on there. But because you end up changing this out, I just go over this lightly. But that keeps this level. And then some of these little grooves and spots, I might use my finger and try to get it smooth. But once it's smooth, I'll wipe it down with a... a dry rag and then put some more polycrylic on it. So after three coats of polycrylic, it's pretty much done. It's really nice and smooth. I'm really happy with it. And now I'm just going to go put it in place and let my wife do what she wants to do with it. I really love how this turned out. It really just set off the room. It was exactly what we needed for the end of our bed. And uh, if you wanted to make something like this, I sure hope that this video inspired you to make this. And if you did, leave a comment down below and tell me how it turned out. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to this channel. But thank you for watching this one. I'll see you next time.